name is Adam. Welcome to Airsoft Mega Store Troubleshooting Video Series. This one's going to be for all of you in situation number three. It's going to be for you, you out there with the gun that doesn't shoot straight. Uh, or sorry, shoots but doesn't shoot straight. Go up, down, left, right, anywhere but straight on. Uh, this video is going to be for you. First thing, and it's going to be probably the most important part, is to check the weight the grade and the brand of your BBs. Uh, weight's going to be pretty important. We'll basically break it down to you this way. 250 feet per second and less, you can go with the .12s. Uh, 250 feet per second to so 350, you can use um, .2 grams just fine. Between 350 and 450, you can go anywhere between .23 and .26 grams and then for 450 feet per second and faster we suggest using the 0.28 gram or heavier that's going to get you the most accuracy possible as well as the best performance uh, brand and grade has a lot to do with it uh, we don't tell you to buy the BBs directly from us we just suggest that you buy them from an air airsoft retailer air airsoft specialty retailer um, someone who knows what they're selling sells a lot of airsoft stuff. Um, don't get them from sporty goods stores because they might say uh, we have the premium grade, you know, ultra polished, whatever the case may be. Most of the time it's not that case. Most of the time it's the lowest quality stuff you can actually get. So we just, we just say get good quality BBs from somebody who does just airsoft or airsoft and paintball. No sporting good people. Um, another thing you want to check for on your BBs is seams. If you got BBs with seams in them where you can actually see where the two pieces of the mold came apart, don't use those. That's going to jam your gun. It's going to cause other issues. If you have BBs with burrs on them or, or used BBs, don't use those either. If a BB's um, malformed, it's oval shaped instead of round, don't use it because it's going to jam your gun a lot faster. If you want a complete list of the BBs we tell you not to use, um, there's a return policy on our website. It's going to be left-hand side of the page. should say site and product policy underneath quick links, and then there should be a return policy in there. Inside that is a list of BBs we tell you not to use because they will void your warranty, and nobody wants that to happen. But basically, stay with the good BBs that we recommend you use. That way no other issues happen. If you are making sure that you are using the good BBs, then and you're still having an issue, then we're going to go ahead and move on to barrel cleaning. Um, it's pretty simple. Your gun should have came with the rod looks like this, maybe gray like this one, and maybe black, and maybe this size, and maybe longer. They come in all different sizes. Basically, what you want to do is you can go with paper towel or another type of soft cloth. You want to get a strip about as tall as the loop in here maybe a little bit taller and you want to feed it through the loop like you would thread a needle you want to pull it about halfway through once you get it about halfway through just go ahead and wrap it around that tip and once you get it nice and wrapped around you're going to take the barrel of the gun and we'll just go ahead and use one of these for example take the barrel of the gun and I just want to basically get it in the barrel and then just work it down. Just twist it as you're going down the barrel and you'll feel it stop when it hits the hop up. So when it gets to about here it'll stop where you can't push it anymore. And then just twist it as you're working it back out. Now if you pull it out and you notice that it's really dirty, uh, what I would suggest is doing this two more times. You're going to do it one more time with the cloth and some silicone oil. And once you do that, um, go ahead and do it one more time with just the cloth to get all that silicone oil out of there. Um, now, that's pretty self-explanatory. If you got a barrel this long, you got a barrel this long, you should have a rod that comes with it. And uh, that, that'll be pretty easy for you to do. If that doesn't work, so you've cleaned the barrel, you got the correct BBs and everything like that, it's probably going to be a hop-up issue. So, there's pretty much three main types of hop-ups. This one's going to be your standard M4, M16 hop-up. Uh, maybe a little bit different, but it should follow the same design with these gears. If you want to turn it all the way off, you want to rotate it back towards the back of the hop-up. And it will stop eventually. Once it stops, that means it's all the way off. For these tube types, you usually see these in um, G3s or R36s. 
you basically twist the tube. So to turn it, to turn the hop up off, you want to twist the tube. It's going to be, if you're looking at the back of the gun, it'll be clockwise. Turn it all the way clockwise, it'll stop. It means the hop up's all the way off. Turn it the opposite direction, that's turn it on. So basically, you want to turn it off. Once you get the hop up turned all the way off, <clears throat> excuse me, you're going to fire about 20 to 50 rounds through it. Now, if all those rounds work out and they all go straight where you want them to, then that means your issue's resolved. Um, if you're still seeing sort of an issue or your BBs are starting to go down instead, what you can do is just adjust the hop up in quarter turn increments and then take a test fire. So you're going to turn in a quarter of a turn and then you're going to go ahead and fire. And you should eventually see them, if they're starting to go down, they should start to go straight. And once that happens, that means your hop up's properly adjusted. If these steps don't help you, please refer to the email for additional instructions.